It's a question many of you have been asking this year. Where is Ding Dong? Well, now we can finally answer it. Our beloved Denise Drysdale was supposed to be making her triumphant return to the Studio 10 panel last month. But, as you're about to see, she's been battling some of the biggest challenges she's ever faced. I recently travelled to her home on the Gold Coast to check in with her and bring you this television exclusive. How are you? As compared to what? <laughs> you have had a horrific few months. I have. I have, and the last thing I ever thought I'd be sitting down doing in the entertainment business is talking about my health. So I just thought I'd better put the record straight that I'm still alive. <laughs> just. <laughs> Denise Drysdale, our Ding Dong. She's usually one of the brightest stars on Australian television. I can kick a footy. Come on, kick a footy! <laughs> But late last year, our dear friend lost a little of that shine. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. <laughs> Denise was struck down by a horror run of health problems that left her physically and emotionally defeated. You were saying to me that at one point you were so sick that you didn't feel like Denise Drysdale. I didn't, and I still probably don't to a, a, a certain degree. I just feel not well, a smaller version of yourself. Oh, I saw you through the window. How are you? Oh, beautiful, come here. Well, I when we arrive happy. at her gorgeous Gold Coast home, Ding Dong doesn't even look sick. She's as funny and fizzy as ever. But behind that brave smile, Denise has been struggling. She's now limping and wearing glasses and admits to having battled some very dark thoughts. How are you coping with all of this stuff that's I happened to you? I was terrible. I was really bad for the first couple of months. Very down, very depressed and very emotional. If I spoke to anybody on the phone, I'd start to cry. I did think if I got any worse, I don't think I could cope with it. It all began last October when she took time off the panel for a bit of R&R. I'm looking forward to the break and then looking forward to new, you know, new times coming up. With her friend, former TV boss of The Circle, Pam Barnes, Denise was off on a holiday of a lifetime, a three-week cruise around the Caribbean. So you were one week in to a trip of a lifetime around yes, the world. to NASA and Disney World. And it was basically stepping out of bed. That's exactly what it that was. That landed you in a world of pain. I immediately said to Pam, I think I've done my knee. And then ended up in a wheelchair. You sort of blend in on a cruise ship in a wheelchair, but... <laughs> Over 60 years in showbiz has taught Denise that the show must always go on. But as hard as she tried, she was in agony, forced to cut her trip short and fly home for a knee replacement. 4.30 in the morning, still hasn't slept, but she's quite uncomfortable. But even that didn't go to plan. Blood clots developed on her knee and it was back to hospital. Then came the headaches and a terrifying new problem. She started losing her sight. I woke up in the middle of the night with this pain in my eye and I rang the ambulance, which is a pretty sort of big thing for me to do. What did you think it was at first? Just stress. I thought, oh, my head's not coping. And what did the doctor say? He said if I had waited another day, I might have gone blind. What was it? Because it was a detached retina. A detached retina. It means the retinas come off the eyeball. You said to me before that you will never take your sight for granted ever again. Never, ever, ever take it for granted. When you haven't got it, it's frustrating, it's debilitating too. When you can't read the labels in the supermarket and you've got to say to somebody, could you just tell me what that says there, please? <laughs> Unable to read or even drive, Denise jokes she spent months under house arrest. And it was while working in her garden she was hit by yet another health setback. So I come back in and I've got all those lumps on my head. And I thought, oh, damn, Mitchies, bloody hell. So that's Saturday night. Sunday, Monday, there's more lumps. They've come up here. What was it? I had 16 lots of intravenous antibiotics, an ECG. All the tests came back negative. 
I was so disappointed. <laughs> I wanted it to be something. Thankfully, it turned out to be a minor infection, but her biggest scare was still to come. New Year's Eve, I woke up and I was on my side like this and I thought, oh, I must have slept on my breast. <laughs> because, you know, they can fit under your arms sometimes. Um, <laughs> I used to fit under a lot. They'd be down and round here. But anyway, that was before I had the breast reduction. But anyway, there was a lump. How big was it? It was big. Did you think? I thought maybe it is cancer, maybe it's not. People go through it, we, it'll be fine. But there was a rather large lump in your breast. Yeah, but it turned out to be a cyst. Oh, so God. that's all right. How did you feel when you got that news? I was, I was relieved. In December, Denise turned 70. Ding Dong loves a party and she should have been celebrating with her favourite bubbly. Instead, it was a dry affair. For two months, she swore off the grog to focus on her health. Do you think you were just running on empty for too long? Yeah, I used to run on adrenaline and I don't think I've got any left. I just wore the machine out. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong at this time for a reason, for me to take stock of how I was conducting my life. There's no question our Ding Dong is a survivor and after a nightmare few months, thankfully, things are finally looking up. Two weeks ago, doctors operated on Denise's eye and her prognosis is good. I'm much better, but I'm saying all this because I know that there are going to be people out there going through exactly the same thing and you just, you'll just you just have to hang in there and, and get to the other end. Coming up, a look around Denise's gorgeous new home plus her heartfelt message to her fans and the answer to the question we are all dying to know. Will you be returning to Studio 10?